This might get weird. Are we rolling? We're rolling. Cheers, Grace Helping. Cheers, Memory Hall. Oh, we got a four o'clock caffeination station. Yes, we do. We're I, doing it. I'm drinking a cardamom cold brew, and it kind of tastes like someone put perfume in a coffee. Yeah, what is, why I is hate it? it? And don't mind it. What is it? It's like if a grandmom was like, I yeah. want to be, I want to knit like crazy today. <laughs> <laughs> I learned to knit this weekend. No way. Oh, my God. It did. Hold on. So our mics are a little hot. We got hot mics. Yeah, we got hot mics. There um, we go. Grace and I, fun fact, once wrote a script where there was a character named Hot Mike who yeah, was hot did. and, oh, no, he was just he, always sweaty. He was always sweaty and he, and he was a comedian. Up. Yeah. <laughs> a comedian. A comedian. Um, hold on. Okay. Yeah. Well, that's we how know what we're going to talk about out of the gate is. Uh, I learned to knit. Too legit to knit. Yeah. But it turns out not knitting very easily easy if you just figure it out uh but I, that said I've, I've knit for all of probably collectively 30 minutes okay I wasn't I was under the weather this weekend and I was getting wow. yeah uh wow and I <laughs> I was getting cabin fever in my house and Elliot went out with a friend and I was just kind of like sitting twiddling my thumbs and I was like, like these thumbs could these make could, something if they're going to be moving around so damn much what if they twiddled yarn and I <laughs> I drove at like eight o'clock on like Friday or Saturday night down to Joanne Fabrics. Holy shit. And I bought myself some knitting needles and some yarn. I watched one very pleasant YouTube video, How to Knit for Beginners. And what was the host like? Oh, he was so sweet. I, I forget his name, but it's the first video that comes up. It's got like over a million views. And he was so oh, calm. Damn, we got to get on that knit I game. know. Trust me. I was like, oh, maybe this is my this new pivot. Yeah. <laughs> Pivot knit. It's my pivot knit. Knit pivot. Uh, and yeah, so I, I knit for a little bit. It was actually very nice because I didn't have that um, knee-jerk reaction of constantly checking my phone. You oh, because your hands are occupied. My hands are making uh, very crude-looking knitting patterns. <laughs> wow. Yeah. I wonder, like, what... I wonder how often an employee at a Joann's, et cetera, mm -hmm. sees a, a, well, a woman by herself come by well, knitting supplies at 8 p.m. on a Friday night. Yes. I almost stopped myself from going out on the adventure because I didn't want to be judged. And then I realized Joann's no. is a judgment free zone. Joann is Ugh. the most open minded. Uh, she welcomes woman. every woman that's a little stuck a little sad, a little yeah. creative. <laughs> and, uh -huh. uh, and I went there and it was, it was packed. For real? Yeah. There were lots of women just like me. In the yarn section or in general? In general. Making huh. all kinds of hobbies happen. Well, there, I'm wondering, was there a parade this week? Because, you know, those, no. there was, you know, the oh. first year of Trump's uh, presidency where it was like those places were packed because people oh. were getting their fucking Trump sucks signs ready. Right, right, right. Every weekend. <laughs> yeah. Uh, no, there, I, I didn't notice any of that, but people were getting their fake flowers to make some arrangements. They were getting oh. their, you know, cake decorating things. They were getting their paint. Fun fact, I'm signed up for a cake decorating <laughs> class at Joanne's tonight. <laughs> I know you're telling me that. I can't wait to hear about it. I know exactly what part of the uh, store it takes place well, in. Well, I mean, I'm I'm kind of a toss up. Uh, part of me thinks I might call and be like, "Do you have one next week that I can do?" Like, I don't also, I don't know if I'm up for the adventure, but I love that you and I both have Joanne's related. Uh, I got to get on their coupon train because that's oh. what every woman in front of me was taking like Coupons. 20 minutes to go through their phone to find the necessary coupons. That See, they what needed. I love is I love when an employee at a place mm -hmm. without even asking uh -huh. and not even needing recognition just pulls out and throws oh, you a coupon. I love. Uh, yeah. But these like, employees hurt. Uh, Joanne. No. Joanne is fine. I think Joanne is fine. I think she's doing well. In fact, my new goal is just to play her in their commercials. <laughs> Actually, I mean, do we we should look up the history of this and figure out who she is, how it started. Yeah, they're not problematic, are they? I know I Hobby know. Lobby was. Ooh, uh, yeah, that's Ooh, my question. Jo too. Hold on, let me Google. Is Joanne's prop? Who who is this Joanne? Is Joanne problematic? Is Joanne problematic? <laughs> is Joanne's fabric problematic? Oh, I mean, <gasps> oh my god, it, it helps you find new hobbies. Right, it's problematic in that you're going to be ditching your friends to knit now. Yeah. Okay, I'm. I see some complaints. Okay. But it, but not really. Nothing glaring. I, I do say there is an ad week. <gasps> 
article from 2018 that says, and this is the title, following its rebrand, Joanne is no longer your mom's fabric store. Whoa, whoa, that's probably why it feels Joanne's so much more young. comfortable there. I'm surprised they didn't like shorten it to Joe's. Right. <laughs> you know? <laughs> Fabrics with a Z at the end. Joe, you know, it's like, uh, it's a little women. <laughs> yeah. But also like a cool, modern, not gender specific for, name for little women with big dreams. Yeah, I fucking love a craft store so much. I can't even handle oh, it. It's it's uh, yeah, it's it's very fun. I uh, think it's the greatest to just wander around in there. Also, that's what everyone looks like they're doing. No one's going in mm. with like an actual exact like there's no supermarket sweeping happening in there. Right. Everyone's taking their time. I don't know. I've hit up a, a Michael's before and been mm. like, I just need polished yeah. rocks. <laughs> <laughs> Green puffy paint and well, that's about it. I'm curious to find out one how your class goes and two mm-hmm. if you are the only human there? Yes. <laughs> if you're the only student in this class. <sighs> I don't know. Cuz I feel like you have a track record for this. Now. I feel Oh god, Reiki. <laughs> Jesus. Well, okay, when I was in college, my roommate Erica signed up for a cake decorating class at mm. Michaels. Okay. But that was like a four week program. Yeah. That was like every Tuesdays. Okay. Um, Which, you know, we still had the same existential crisis of like, (laughs) we're in college. Right. And are we 85? Right, right, you know? right. <laughs> yeah. I think I did knit a little bit in college. I had a phase. But um, so we, but she would go and basically she would come home uh-huh. with like a delicious cake every week. That so us great. being some fucking old stoners, yeah. we were just like Tuesdays are the best days of our life. Because yeah. she's coming home with like a German chocolate cake with, you know, rose pipettes on it right 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 so i don't know if i'm gonna go i'm actually a little nervous i i'm excited to see how much and what they teach you in one class like this like is a cake ad- <laughs> this is not a cake how advanced is it because sometimes you go to these classes like one time i went to a swim aerobics class at mm-hmm. the y yeah and it was like so dumbed down like <laughs> <laughs> I'm not talking about this. Like, uh, first of all, I went with my mom. She had gone yeah. a couple times. This was uh, ten years ago, uh-huh. and I was like, "I'm going with you. I want to see what these women are doing." Uh-huh. It's just women on pool noodles gossiping. Yeah, yeah. That's I went like, to occasionally with my cooking, mom too. occasionally yeah. kicking a foot. Yeah, I feel like you're gonna. If there are other students there, be in a big you know hen house gossip session yeah. Is Hopefully. this where they go to meet up with their girls? Like, Wait, is this some sort of cover? You know, like whoa. guys have like poker poker i guess <laughs> yeah i hate to be sorry we are in the Sports. 1950s right now no, but like how many guys go to watch a sport when really they're like well, i could take or leave baseball but right. it's a way to sit and hang out well i'm excited do you have any events that you can now eventually take these potential newfound lessons and apply them to i mean i feel like i could be a go-to make cakes for friends person yeah now this is not a skill i have but mm-hmm. I've watched a lot of Food Network. Right. That it should weren't like, <laughs> I was really into Ace of Cakes. Yes. Do you remember that show? Yeah. it was Hoboken. Duff Gold- no. I thought he was in Hoboken. No, that's the cake fucking boss. cake boss. Sorry. <laughs> oh, gosh. Oh, God. I the Ace on my of face. Cakes was out of Baltimore. Yes. He was pre-cake boss. Yes, yes. And he was doing crazy stuff and like had like a young crew yeah and they were like tattoos yeah they were like cool hipsters but also dorks yeah 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 i met duff goldman and i was very starstruck wow the ace of cake is he teaching this class i hope that would be amazing but so i feel like i could be the go-to person to make interesting funny cakes especially Mm -hmm. now that people are doing all those cakes for baby showers that look like vaginas yeah oh is that true have you not seen these no what hold on baby shower vagina cake uh, uh, everyone right now unless you're driving look it up it'll show just yeah it's like baby oh. they'll put a baby doll head oh, okay. coming out of a yeah i mean a get cake right, vagina that's you want to get right to the point that's great i've made a christmas sweater like this before <laughs> it's a form of contraceptive um <laughs> so yeah we'll see if i go however i did go to a class this past week what'd you go to Tap dancing. Whoa! Look at you. <laughs> you're just. I don't know what you're becoming. You're becoming like a one-woman talent show. Like I don't 
<laughs> okay, these I are sound good. like someone like in the oh. 30s who's like, I'm going to get myself ready to be a wife. <laughs> I'm going to learn cakes and tap dancing. You also sound like someone that just moved to LA that's trying to like really pad their friends. resume. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, I have been, well, you know, I danced forever yeah. and love tap dancing, uh, but I've wanted to do it again as an adult, but hadn't pulled the trigger. Okay. Because tap dancing classes are harder to find than like yeah. regular classes. That's a very niche form of dance. Yeah, most other types of dance, you can show up and go barefoot if you sure. need to. You can't barefoot at a tap dance class. No. You have to buy the proper you footwear. Yeah, it's like you can't go to a tennis lesson without a racket. Wow. However, I would show up and just be like, I've got my ha- my <laughs> hand is really flat. <laughs> I have my hand in my laptop. <laughs> so, uh, But this also, I feel like a tap dancing class in the spectrum of like experience mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. is either I assume people are either um, Savion Glover, that's a famous tap dancer. Great, One, yeah, that or um, me, <laughs> yeah, so. yeah, or kindergartner who's just like goofing off on stage during a recital. Those <laughs> yeah. are my favorite videos. Oh, I love it. Um, so I found this tap dance class. I was googling, and all the regular studios out here mm-hmm. are too intimidating because. I've gone to a dance class before and you're like, oh, these are real dancers. Yeah, these are fucking like backup dancers. Yeah. Their intermediate is like the best person, Jeez. you know, in North Carolina. Right, right. Um, so I found this one and it was in Silver Lake, which is close to us. Uh-huh. And it was a man named Howard. Wonderful. And his picture, he was wearing like a sequined bow tie. Uh, I mean, yeah, that's all you need. Legit. Uh, so I was like, well, maybe. And his reviews were good. It was like, Howard is caring, all that. You know, <laughs> Howard is great. He's very encouraging. But then I signed up for the class. And then when it gave me the confirmation, I realized the dance studio is, is at Howard's home. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Which okay. made me a little apprehensive. Scared as fuck. Yeah. Yeah. Howard with the glitter bow tie is inviting you to his home to make some noise. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Bring on the funk. Yeah. So my friend Lindsay Ames goes with me because she was like, uh, I want I want to get back into tap dance when I mentioned it to her. So I said, all right, well, we're going. Great. Go strength in numbers. Uh-huh. Our friend Georgia Hardstark. Great. Uh, favorite murder was going to go with us and she ended up not being able to. So she's rain checked for oh, tomorrow. OK. OK. Um, but so I go and it turns out that he has a studio built like behind his his house on top of the garage wow and we're walking up and i'm like oh fuck because when i signed up it also showed me that me and my friend were the only two people signed up for the class this again this again is the story of your life <laughs> so i'm super nervous walking up that we're about to have an hour in a garage <sighs> with a man in a bow tie with howard for like an hour with a howard. private class uh-uh we walk up those steps Place is packed. Wow. Level one uh-huh. was at seven. I was like, we can do level two. Wow. You know, Good I, for you. I, you got to go in with confidence. Yeah. Um, so we walk up. Level one is fi- is like finishing, uh-huh. I guess. And there's probably like 20 people in there. Whoa. Tap dancing. Of all different colors, sizes, ages. Howard doesn't discriminate. No. We look in and I go, oh, no. Are we going to be like the, the worst people there? Right. There's a woman with an oxygen tank. <laughs> Okay. Wow. Yeah. Howard really does cultivate a safe space. Uh, does Howard do some light EMT work on the side? I. How do you? I mean, you can't. I'm, okay. Yeah. So that's that should boost your confidence. Pretty. So I was like, so I look at Lindsay. And she goes, "Man, I'm so rusty." I go, "I think we'll be okay." <laughs> You guys know that getting in shape does not have to be about losing a specific amount of weight or some magic number that's on a scale. It's about building healthier habits and feeling better about yourself. If that's fitting into your favorite pair of jeans uh, as a goal, that's great. But there are so many reasons to practice self-care and every person is different. You hear Mamrie and I talk about the various forms of self-care that we have dabbled in throughout the last year. And now you have an opportunity to help yourself out with Noom. Noom is a 
habit-changing solution that helps users learn to develop a new relationship with food through personalized courses. It's based in psychology, and so it teaches you why you do the things you do and empowers you with the tools you need to break bad habits and replace them with better ones. Noom has one of the biggest and most accurate food databases available, so it lets you track meal habits, visualize portion sizes, see calorie density at a glance. It doesn't tell you what to do or what not to do. It teaches you how to look inside your own mind and make better decisions for yourself, something I'm trying to do, and I bet you are too. We're all strapped for time, so Noom asks you to commit just 10 minutes a day for yourself, and you are a human if you go off track. There's no shaming. There's just tips to help you get back on track. Tomorrow, you can chat with goal specialists and the Noom community to get and give help to people that are going through the same things. And some of you have even tweeted at Mamrie and I when we've had sponsorship by Noom that you've used this and it's helped you. So if it's helped you guys, maybe it can help more of you guys. You don't have to change it all in one day. Small steps make big progress. So sign up for your trial today at Noom, N-O-O-M dot com slash weird. What do you have to lose? Visit Noom.com slash weird to start your trial today. Again, N-O-O-M dot com slash weird. Y'all, this is going to shock you to your core, but I am not a beacon of health, especially when it comes to hydrating or drinking this thing called water. I don't know if you've heard of it. I like to get up and drink coffee until it's time to drink wine, but that's not always so great with, you know, my overall health or headaches. So Liquid IV has become a go-to. Honestly, they sent me a bunch of their product to try out because Grace and I like to try out everything before we promote it. And I have incorporated it into my regular routine because sometimes you just don't have enough time to drink water. But Liquid IV, it hydrates you two to three times faster and more efficiently than water alone. You take one little stick of powder, you put it in 16 ounces of water, and bam! Not only are you getting water into your system, you're getting vitamin C, B3, B5, B6, and B12. So don't be a dummy and get it in your tummy. Okay, I'm I'm not getting paid extra to make them little (laughs) mottos. The other thing about Liquid IV is that it not only makes you feel good in your body, it makes you feel good in your heart. Because with each purchase, Liquid IV donates a serving to someone in need around the world. And they've already donated 2 million servings to date to places like Haiti, Uganda, Puerto Rico, and Nepal. It makes you feel good. It makes others feel good. Trust me, it's great for fueling up after workouts when you sweat it a lot. It's great for preventing muscle fatigue and, you know, just helps you do a post-workout glow if you're into working out or if you just need more water in your body and don't feel like drinking it. It also helps. Um, There's no artificial flavors or preservatives. Plus, it contains five essential vitamins, more vitamin C than an orange, and as much potassium as a banana. Well, I'll be damned. And there's no artificial flavors. I've tried a bunch of different flavors, and it tastes delicious. It doesn't taste fake or cloying. It's just a nice, light, subtle flavor. If you want to try it, here's what you do. You are going to go to liquidiv.com. That's liquidiv.com iv.com and use tmgw at the checkout and then you'll get 25 percent off anything you order on their website that is code tmgw to get 25 percent off anything on their website at liquidiv.com i mean what do you have to lose besides a headache because your ass is dehydrated trust me okay oh. So we're sitting outside and, and we're waiting and we're waiting and time is going over. So I know how these things go. In my head, yeah. I'm like, they probably started a little late. So we'll right. give it some leeway. We're 10 minutes. They're still going. They're not stopping. Finally, Howard comes out. Uh-huh. Sweet man, probably like in his 60s. Uh-huh. Very gentle man and just goes, come on in. You're the new you're the new girls. huh?" <gasps> and we go, yeah. And we go, sorry, we just figured you were like yeah. finishing up. He goes, he goes, nope, sometimes the seven stays for the eight. Regardless, why be sitting when you could be dancing? Oh, my God. I was like, well, fuck me. I'm in love. Yeah, I'll pay you anything <laughs> for more little uh, quotes like that. Right. It's like how my dance teacher in North Carolina, Mitzi, once said, um, like when a dance was bad, mm-hmm. she said, well, we'll just throw some glitter on this chicken shit and call it a rhinestone. <laughs> I was like, okay. That was her version of fake it till you make it. I love it. Just dazzle them with sequins. They won't even notice that your feet aren't moving. (laughs) So we go in. 
I immediately see someone I know from UCB New York. This is you. Yeah. You, are, you, we call you Mamrie the mayor of the East Side <laughs> because every time Hannah and I have gone for a walk around the reservoir here with her, Mamrie's just kissing babies and shaking hands. She knows everyone. Every single time she's seen at least two or three people that she knows. And Hannah and I just awkwardly stand like her two stepchildren that haven't been introduced. It's uh, great. So you know why you haven't been introduced? Because I can't remember anyone's goddamn name. Yeah. But we do know each other. Um, so anyway, we walk in. There's like a very tall buff man with like a sleeveless shirt that, that the shirt just says, don't be a, and it has a picture of a rooster. So don't oh, be a cock. Perfect. There's like, you know, a couple older ladies whatever we come in we're like the new kids right so everyone's looking us up and down like uh, are they any good (laughs) and it's a class where you just kind of like follow along Uh and then we like practice things across the floor and then he like we did some time steps (laughs) out of nowhere i look over Lindsay is talking to the woman with the oxygen tank who at this point she's just sitting down like nodding her head to stuff like you know she can do the moves but she can't physically has she participated or is she just kind of she, she like shuffles from her seat okay. right and Lindsay looks over and they're like deep in convo and Lindsay comes back and she goes i know that lady <laughs> <laughs> oh. i'm like what oh. she goes i was going to look like at a house that was for rent uh-huh. one day and when I was leaving it, there was a woman across the street chain smoking on her porch. <laughs> it was old oxygen. And the woman said, how nice is the place? And Lindsay was like, it's kind of a shithole. And then the woman went, come on inside. See my place. She wasn't even renting it. She just had what? Lindsay come into her house and gave her a tour. OK, so this is the mayor of the East. This is the true mayor. <laughs> and I go. I can't believe we came here and you know that woman. Oh, wow. So it was so great. We had a we had a fantastic class. Uh, We were doing like a a time step type of thing. And Uh at one point uh, he like called me out on it because I was doing it well. And then at the end when we were talking because they had this like, I guess every week he teaches three classes a week, like per level. Okay. And some people come to every one and he teaches a little bit of choreo. So every week, if you came to all three, you'd have a like a minute dance done. Got it. And then it restarts. So we didn't, we only knew our little like 20 seconds for that week. And we just kind of stood there awkwardly while everyone else did the other part. (laughs) Uh And then he comes over and he kind of like runs through everything with us. And then he goes to me, he goes, but you... (laughs) we'll get you in some more advanced classes. Whoa. And my little overachieving Virgo brain was like, (laughs) Howard, (laughs) you see me, you see this. So in my head, I'm like through the class, I'm like, trying to do well for yeah. Howard. Yeah, you're the specifically. Of, yes. uh what ALDC or whatever. Yep. <laughs> I was so excited and it was just like a really fun, nice time. Uh, he played like we'd like tap dance to like Fleetwood Mac and this Steely is Dan. It was great. I felt ninety five years old on a cruise ship yeah. in the best way possible. <laughs> and then, you know, we go to our cars and I go up the hill and I'm and I'm driving off and I see the man with the don't be a cock shirt helping yeah. the oxygen tank back down a community i in silver lake (laughs) when i think of this as like a young hip like everyone is in their 20s and 30s neighborhood i have found my tap cocoon wow does he i'm going back i mean yeah it makes me want to learn to tap (laughs) does he only do tap it's only tap it's tapping with howard wow i mean he must not have much competition i imagine i guess i mean like none of like some of these people would never show up to like the sweatshop and the edge and like all the dance studios that sound scary yeah i don't think oxygen's (laughs) hitting up any of those (laughs) anytime soon she shows up with the one that's called like the tank and she's like <laughs> yeah. can i plug in uh so that was my tap dancing class and wow. i just like left there kind of how you probably felt knitting where i was like this is an old mm-hmm. f- art form that you know what it's just my speed it makes me happy oh i loved it well that is fantastic thank you i'm really proud of you and i can't wait to hear how it continues is there like an end like a re- recital i think they might have recitals <gasps> um i've got to see i don't know if they just do performances but i would definitely if i continued with it <laughs> i would ask and be like I don't think they learn a whole dance like a recital, right. but maybe like his he does private lessons. I would right. be like, I'll just do a choreographed dance. I will pay for private 
choreography yeah. to be able to be in a recital again. I mean, I feel like Hannah's wedding reception just got a whole lot more interesting. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just throwing this Boom. out there. She I, does love jazz. She does love jazz. I feel like oh it's, my God. it I, could be a really um, organic uh, yep. piece of art incorporated. Me. I wouldn't want to steal her sun- thunder. Also me being fitted for a secret <laughs> yeah. attack with like penguin tails on it. A hundred percent. Wait, we had a fun experience together this past week. We did. We went to the talks where mm-hmm. I've discussed before. I went yes. and got like a lymphatic drain. It's massage. I can't say Masha- massage. any of these things. Yeah, it's, um, it's a place called the Talks LA. Mm-hmm. They also have non-spawn. Non-spawn. Just nice. But they reached out and were like, hey, if you guys want to come in, like, we'd love to have you. Because we did, we put up an edited video mm-hmm. of when I was saying how my stomach sounded so crazy during it. Right. And she, the gal from the talks immediately was like, we love this. Because yeah. I was like, oh, I don't think I'm talking shit. I'm literally just making fun of my own body. They drained me of all the shit. I have nothing left to right? talk about. Uh, yeah, it was, uh, it was my first time. Mm-hmm. It was, uh, even though you've told me about it before, I really had no idea. And you're not a massage person. Mm-mm. No, I'm not a massage. I should should get massages but you know yeah, it's because the, your shoulders are always up so high that i feel like you could use a little squeeze um oh a hundred percent for yeah. sure so i was already going into it realizing that i like one have a body made of metal and i don't know how that's gonna go for them <laughs> you're uh, so metal grace i know uh two i was on my period which I was like, didn't think this through. Because but you were also like first day of cramps, right? First day of real cramps. What is wrong with us? I went and got my first pap smear in, uh, I'm not even going to say how long, two weeks ago. And she was like, you're starting your period in like 10 minutes. I was like, yeah, I didn't, I didn't think this through. You would think by now that I would understand the rhythms of my body. Yeah, we've been having just, them for 25 years. Yeah, no, I, I think every, when it's done, I'm so over it yes. that I just rinse it from my brain mm-hmm. and I don't keep it around as any sort of like, I don't want to think about that right now. So whenever I get it, it's just like a surprise. And so I also didn't put it together. I was like, oh, I'm, we're going to go do this thing. But oh, oh, shoot. Until driving, like right before driving over, I texted you. I was like, what do I need to know? Because I just realized right. I'm on like day two of my period. And I know all they're going to be doing is like. It's just pressing on your body. Pressing. So what did you think? Well, uh, of the experience? Yes. Well, on top of that. It's having, not relaxing. Uh, no, it's not <laughs> relaxing. I also, there's such a weird, um, in any of those places, like I've gotten acupuncture before. I've gotten mm-hmm. massages before that like the protocol of talking. Yes. Establishing conversation versus like, I'm, I'd rather be quiet. You and I do the thing. I feel like we both did because this yeah. one, it's open air. It's not like little rooms. It's right. like, it's, it's curtains it's separating. Curtains. It's almost like a very glamorous hospital waiting room. <laughs> yes. It's like beds. a green velvet curtain. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah, with just like massage beds set up in between. So it's like if a hospital <laughs> did a deal with Joss and Maine. Yeah. Yeah. If a hospital <laughs> got queer eyed, it would look like if Bobby Burke just waved his wand around a hospital. Yeah. It but yeah was, establishing like, am I going to do this like an Uber where I go in and I'm specifically like, I'm not going to talk to you. Right. And I don't know because I've never been. So you can hear like dull conversations here and there. (laughs) The conversations I heard were not dull. Continue. (laughs) Continue. So so I'm already going in and the girl that I got paired with super nice. And so I'm not, I'm like, I have never done this before. And she's like, no worries. You know, just, you know, strip down your underwear and lay on the bed. And uh, (laughs) she's like an easy (laughs) romantic. Yeah. An easy into it. Uh, and then I, cause in my head I thought it was only going to be on my stomach. So I'm uh. concerned about like just cramps. And then she starts like moving, you know, the, the blanket around. Cause she's like, I'm going to be getting into your armpits and your, um, your feet, I guess, or legs, everything, everything. And I they realized press on your bikini line. Yeah. I realized I had never, I hadn't shaved my armpits in who knows how long. So oh, yeah. that's one so gross for her i'm so sorry and two no it's not own that sure but i was like sweating because i'm nervous <laughs> right. about everything and then she starts like massaging my legs and i realized oh i got scabs all over I, me literally grace i am halfway through the massage oh my God. and i think to myself 
Wait a second. Grace just told me a story yesterday about how she ate shit in Hawaii and she oh. is covered in scabs. In scabs, which I didn't even register as even because I didn't think she's touching my legs at all. I really thought it was just centered on my stomach. Oh but she starts, my God. And also my feet have like scab <laughs> blisters all over them. Something that I'm used to. Elliot thinks, Elliot literally says, he's like, your feet look like they do meth. <laughs> and I'm, I'm so used to them that I never noticed that they're actually bad until I realized that she started massaging my feet. And I was like, for her, this oh, looks no. awful. This looks like I tried to skateboard yesterday or You're something. You're just dragging your feet like and a caveman. I had to tell her, I was like, before she started the second leg, I was like, I took a tumble, so I have like some scabs. Um, oh, no. But they're fine. And God bless that she was so professional. And she was like, just tell and She's like, okay, is this okay? I'm like, yeah, this is fine. But then she like gets up to my arm and this is another giant scab on my oh, arm. And I was just like, she's oh, like, this looks awful. Do I need to call the authorities right. or are you just like a total blackout drunk? Right. But I was like, oh, this. And because I've established that we're not like having, you know, fun Combo. jargon that I was like, uh, I'm just going to sit in silence and just like deal with this. But to be fair. Yeah. She was super professional. <laughs> uh, and after it was done, I felt incredible i felt great except when i did get home my stomach sounded like a motorcycle restarting and restarting yeah. and restarting it was just like yeah it was like when you put uh, as a kid one of like a baseball card in the spokes of your bicycle yes. wheel that's what my stomach was sounding like just sitting in my house by myself oh yeah. my god no oh. it feels good it, it, it's nice to have it done but sometimes they're doing stuff to you that it can only be described as the episode of Friends yeah. where I think it's Rachel accidentally like has to pretend to be Phoebe and give yes, someone, someone a massage, massage and yeah. just takes two wooden spoons. Yeah, yeah. Like that's what it feels like <laughs> is mean, someone was supposed to give you a massage or like when when like a niece or nephew yeah. will be like, come rub my back and they start doing it and you're like, this doesn't feel that good, but it's better than not being touched. Oh, it's, I mean, it was great. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That it. Uh, and then all of a sudden there's like a suction machine yes. and I was like whoa that thing's cool and then she like explained to me what it does that it like brings all of the moves uh, the water in your body yeah, something crazy it moves it around so that it's easier to like redistribute so it doesn't get blocked in different areas but it was just funny because it was like total science with my eyes closed and then all of a sudden like this that tickled so bad I know I established I wasn't going to talk oh I did hear you laughing and I oh, thought yeah. I was like they must have gotten to her feet <laughs> It was feet and like calf muscle and I was just like sorry and and then the only thing I said to her like the whole hour is I went has anyone ever kicked you in the face <laughs> and then I realized how bad that it sounded like a threat cuz I was just like they're doing random shit. If yeah. someone zones out, like, because you've seen me get a pedicure. Oh, yeah. And it looks. I've almost had lawsuits. Yeah. It looks like you um, are clinically <laughs> insane when you're getting a pedicure because Absolutely. You, you, there's no warning. And then you I'm just, just start rocking back and forth and giggling to yourself and like laughing. pinching your own skin. Uh, but however, the girl to my right, mm -hmm. she was doing some other treatment. I don't know what it was, but she was basically being like sculpted in some way with something hot. OK. And she just kept talking about all the different procedures she had done to like lose fat like all the lipo like wow she was doing the gamut guys yeah. for you guys listening especially you guys who had fucking attitude about us at admitting we got botox oh i saw a couple of those they were like how dare you uh normalize it i was like bitch i'm 36 in entertainment you're glad i'm not didn't get a body transplant <laughs> yeah Exactly. I got eight <laughs> units of Botox <laughs> twice. Fuck off. I know. And the fact that Sorry, we were Sorry, don't fuck off. I'm sure you're lovely, but still. <laughs> even nervous enough to bring it up to begin yeah, with. Yeah, we, we said it. We're open books. Yeah. I uh, mean, if you want to get mad at the things I do to my body, there's a lot yeah. worse things <laughs> that you should be upset with me about than paying to have needles put that in my are, forehead. Oh, but hold on. Side note, and mm. then I'll get back to this one is uh y'all you heard us talk about that crazy doctor and how we had like a nurse do that yeah i went and got drinks with a friend of mine uh-huh uh-huh and uh 
And I was like, oh, I just got it. It kicked in finally. She goes, where do you go? And I said the place. She goes, that's where I go. I go, whoa. And because, you know, another (laughs) person in comedy. And I go, yeah, a nurse did it, but it wasn't as good. She goes, holy fuck, I had the same exact experience. (gasps) She was like, I had the nurse, which was such a relief because the other guy is so weird. Yeah. But he does a better job. She goes, so now I just go in there and I like, I try to go to a different place in my brain where I'm like, you're not even here. (laughs) You're not even I'm like so you just have PTSD yeah. um, So anyway One girl's talking to me about crazy shit Where I'm like this is some LA talk This is at the talks Yes Okay The girl on the other side of me Uh huh Cause I could hear huh. snippets But you were on the other side of the room And I was like Someone over there is having a full conversation This girl's having a full conversation She lays down on the bed Uh huh And the first thing I hear her say to her masseuse is I'm trying a diva cup for the first time So I'm sorry if it shoots out <laughs> Okay, that gives me such relief because here I am in my scabbard and body going and telling myself it's okay. They've had so many worse things happen. And oh, so many- she goes, I don't know if I put it in deep enough. I watched a couple YouTube videos. Have you seen them? They will show you how much blood comes out. I'm, oh and I'm like being there like, oh my God. And here I am limiting myself to the knitting videos. Yes. No, no, no. There's full diva cup tutorials. Wow. So I just sat there and I feel like my masseuse lady could tell that anything happening around us was way more interesting yeah like right we were waiting to see if that thing shot out yeah yeah yeah. you're You're pressing on someone's stomach and you've got a loaded diva cup ready ready to bullet right out of there so scary Uh, what a what a warning seriously it was fantastic wait did she say anything else during the just still talking and then they got like emotional i don't know i feel like it was a i thought they had a relationship okay i feel like established i thought i heard something about like a woman saying she wishes she could have chips and i was like my boyfriend (laughs) yeah i'm like i wish i could have chips dick (laughs) um no it's really great and then when you leave they give you a thing of rose quartz which Mm -hmm. i thought was just so cute but so funny to be like are you sad enough that you'll pay money to let us press on your body you're probably unlucky in love (laughs) have some rose quartz it's a rose quartz and some uh what's the wood they give you palo santo palo santo it's like you probably got some demons you need to get out of the the house that you're going back to right now for us to fix you here's a rock here keep cleansing keep cleansing it'll help um but highly recommend they have locations in miami and new york too i mean i will go back yeah it was great and they i I felt slightly skinnier for three days (laughs) i'll do anything yeah well they also go do you have any medical issues before and, and in my like, head i was oh like oh my god you pull out a scroll yeah i was like oh, i can't even begin to start with the SIBO. i basically came with like three checks against me but i'm still gonna persevere and see what this does to my body I mean, like the only way you could have been a less great client is if you came and you're like just leprosy <laughs> yeah. just a little leprosy now really get into those armpits yeah get in there please Any of you out there that are selling things online, you know that getting your orders out can be a pain. How do you keep track of who gets it? Which shipping carrier should you use? Are you getting the best rates? Well, that's where ShipStation.com comes into play. It's the fastest, easiest, and most affordable way to manage and ship your orders. Just a few clicks few clicks and you'll be managing your orders, printing out labels and getting your product out fast to keep your customers happy. ShipStation makes it easy. They help you get your orders out quickly, like we said, save money on shipping costs, all of it, no matter what you're selling, Amazon, Etsy, or on your own website, ShipStation brings all your orders into one simple interface. They make them easy to manage from any device, even your cell phone. And ShipStation works with all major carriers, including USPS, FedEx, UPS, even Amazon Fulfillment, so you can compare and choose the best shipping solution for you and your customer. They even offer big discounts on shipping costs. Now, any business can access the same postage discounts that are usually reserved for large Fortune 500 companies. You'll always know that you're getting the best deal, and no wonder ShipStation is the number one choice of online sellers. You'll ship more in less time with the best rates available, and right now, this might get weird listeners, can try ShipStation free for 60 days when you use the offer code TMGW. There's absolutely no risk. You can start your free trial without even entering your credit card info. That's amazing. Just visit ShipStation.com 
click on the microphone at the top of the homepage and type in TMGW. That's shipstation.com. Then offer code TMGW. Shipstation.com. Make ship happen. I went to a monster jam. Oh, yeah. How was that? It was great. Uh, my friend, our friend Melissa loves. Loves Gravedigger. She loves Gravedigger because Gravedigger is from the Outer Banks of North Carolina. Oh, that's right. Yeah. So it's, it's from a little area called Kill Devil Hills mm-hmm. where you go by. Actually, when I went to a wedding there yeah. a couple years ago, I was officiating a college roommate's wedding. Uh-huh. They have like a roadside cafe call and an and a um garage called digger dungeon oh that's fun with those where you can go and eat lunch and then they have a little course and you can be put on a monster truck like an extended cab whoa and driven around a course that's so we did fun. that very hungover after her wedding <laughs> we went to digger <laughs> dungeon great. but so melissa loves it because it's like the hometown hero yeah and so she goes all the time, but this was the first time Chip and I went. Oh, wait, this is the first time you've ever been to Monster Jam? I've never been to a Monster Jam. Oh, I guess I just assumed. You just assume it's yeah. like something dumb and redneck. Yes. <laughs> Surely. <laughs> also, I didn't... Been there, bought the t-shirt. I never I realized or even thought about the origin stories of these monster trucks. Uh, well, that's what's so cool. <laughs> so <laughs> we finally get there after like a stressful... we. Like traffic was so bad to get into that parking lot. And we all saw your <laughs> thirst tweet asking for tickets. I did. <laughs> Look. I respect Turns out Monster it. Jam, not cheap. Yeah. It's not a cheap event. So I said, fuck it. I'm going to go to Twitter to try to get free tickets. You, you had nothing to lose. Also, I'm like, what celebrities? I'm not a celebrity, but what even like F... Other F listers yeah, are, are reaching to out to Monster Jam. <laughs> Throw me a fucking bone. So we get there and I loved it because Grace, hmm. picking your theme for a monster truck, they have one that's a full Dalmatian dog with a huge tail what? and a tongue and ears. That's incredible. They have one that's like orange, that's like a bull with horns. They have uh, they have one that's a, uh, why am I blanking on the name, uh, bro? What's the long like truck car? Oh my God. Chip is gonna He's fucking, screaming he's at screaming. his device right now. Okay, uh, there's this guy, Diesel Dave. Uh, the Bro Camino. Okay. So it's like an El Camino uh-huh. on crazy wheels. Like there's all these different themes. Oh, that's fun. So it's like wrestlers. Well, it's like wrestlers, except in my head, I mean, God bless, we love wrestling so much, but yeah. we're also aware that like when wrestlers get on stage, they know who's winning. Uh, yeah, and they know <clears throat> how to keep everything safe. This one, what? it really is a competition. Oh, really? So there's two rounds. <gasps> there's like a speed race round that's just for time. Uh-huh. And then there's a round that you can do two tricks no matter what they are. OK, so speed race, meaning like you run an obstacle course for yeah, time? Yeah, like head to head, truck okay. to truck and like a bracket to see who okay. wins that. Um, and then they have their standings uh-huh. for that one. The second round is like you can you can do two tricks each. Cool. So like they'll go up like a crazy ramp and when they come down the you know the front of the truck will land and it's almost like this truck will do a handstand. And they're like, so they're like moving their like wheels trying oh, to balance cool. or like they'll go over and they'll like go over a ramp and then they'll drive on their side. But a lot of them just flip like yeah, it's nuts. 10 times a tractor came out and like had to unflip them <laughs> they, and like totally destroyed their oh there's one that's a shark the fun. megalodon. <laughs> anyway it was so much fun. Um but they have that one and the last one is freestyle where they have two minutes just to like go, go off ramps and fly in the air and do cool. like just go fucking off right right and what happens is there you go on like monsterjam.com whatever it is rate mm-hmm. the jam and the audience votes Whoa. so after every round they're like and um megalodoon gets a 9.62 he's in second place so there'll be people in the crowds who are like you guys fucking suck at voting <laughs> Wait, so there's no official judges? No. Whoa, it's that's It's the cool. audience judging. That Wow. That's like, it's like the finale of American Idol. Exactly. All the time. Exactly. <laughs> and so we were just having the best time. And you know, like Chip loves trucks. Yeah. So in my head, I was just like, this would be your ultimate career. Yeah. Also, how destroyed <clears throat> do the trucks get? Like, Pretty do they fucking have, destroyed. Yeah, because they must have to go back and like reconstruct the trucks for the next event. Well, I think they're pretty much like a series of roll bars almost like dune buggy style on oh. top of it and then it's like a a breakawayable thing on top that makes sense i mean some of them got really fucked up and but you can tell the ones that get 
very fucked up have money because oh, okay. there's grave digger and then there's son of a digger I, oh and grave digger and he thing. won he won that night son of a well son of a one son of a one wow He's son of a one son of a one i'm obsessed it's my new life but so grave digger's shtick is that it it digs graves yeah okay yeah just so they all have theme music right so it's like it's they all come out to like wow. their theme song. How do you even get into it? Well, sport there's like Monster that. Jam University. What? OK, okay. I've, I mean, this sounds like a Pixar film <laughs> because Chip and I are both like, well, how do we learn how to do it? And uh-huh. Melissa goes, there's Monster Jam University outside of Chicago, but they don't answer the phone. <laughs> <laughs> I need an investigative journalist to make sure that this isn't a fraud university like Trump. Right, you. exactly. Like, how do I go and learn how to do this? I think Chip could kill. Wow. Uh, but I, I guess there's a show on TV called Diesel Brothers that's about like Bro say, Camino this and seems someone else. Ripe for A and E to give uh, us some sort of backstory here. Literally, exactly that. Wow. But so I love it. We were already trying to go in like two weeks again. It was so much fucking fun. That's very exciting. Yeah. It is every two weeks? No, it's just, it tours it like wrestling. So it's Got it's it. every weekend in different places. Probably Sweet. comes here like twice a year. Oh, man. I want to go next time. It's I also so love that good. they give everyone headphones. They don't. Chip they bought don't. those for us. Oh, you did? <laughs> he bought them for us like two months ago for ear protection because we were going to go and then we couldn't. Oh, that's fun. And I was, so we start to walk in and uh, we don't really see anyone else with, headphone things right. ear protections you know like the beats yeah, by yeah. dre ones and we're like oh god are we gonna look like dorks you know how sensitive i am to noise yeah that shit was loud as fuck yeah we were so lucky to have ear protection That's people had crazy. them everywhere wow yeah. i want to go you gotta go i gotta go we got to go back i'll go back any day i made myself a grave digger shirt <laughs> with leftover iron on letters um speaking of places that maybe we should go to i love it have you heard about tyra banks's new model land excuse me Okay, so um, Tyra Banks has uh, released a forthcoming attraction called Model Land. Wait, I think I have heard of this, but give me give me everything. Um, So it's I believe Tyra has said that Model Land is Harry Potter meets the modeling industry. (laughs) (laughs) That old combo. It's set in an alternate universe and visitors are encouraged to join the hashtag uprise xing it's a hashtag okay um <clears throat> led by tookie de la creme and her squad of atypical beauty rebels wait wow. where is it like is it a, i going think to it's be in a santa Mon- i think it's gonna be in santa monica is it's, it a pop-up it's not like an established gonna be there forever thing is it i don't it's gonna be uh it's bringing modeling to the masses where everyone can come to los angeles california oh, it's in santa they monica already do uh yeah and it's a portal for everyone to come and show their beauty at show their beauty and their booty matters here's what you can expect oh my god according to their website you can expect to live the ultimate modeling fantasy model land is a first of its kind story driven attraction that features fashion and beauty photo shoots and runways shopping and theater and most importantly you come join us and learn how to pose like a boss all while getting all while getting tips and tricks from Miss Ban X herself. Journey through a story-driven experience. uh, Be entertained by actors, dancers, and out-of-this-world designs. Oh, and you'll get to leave with your own Model Land lookbook made just for you with the pictures taken throughout your experience. Okay, so it's an Instagram pop-up, except you leave with a printed portfolio. Apparently. um, Yeah. I hate this. Delisted says it's like going to Madame Tussauds Wax Museum, but you're the only wax figure. (laughs) And here's a sneak peek of the lobby. It's um, oh wow, yeah, it's like a futuristic like Trump Tower looking thing. I mean, I hate it, and we have to go. Yeah, that's <laughs> that's my takeaway from it as well. Okay, uh, like, look, we I'll, gotta ke- see I'll keep it. tweeting at Monster Jam if you get Model Land. Right. We also need some updated need some looks. publicity photos for the podcast. Oh my god, so. how great would it be if our upcoming like tour posters are all Model Land? Just have a yeah watermark of Model Land. In the Let's do a Model Land calendar. Oh my god. I think it could be great oh speaking of calendars Mm -hmm. so i went to my local restaurant to write and grab some lunch today Mm -hmm. and there were two women it was i was at like a communal table there were two women at the end that were clearly i could overhear them clearly doing the like let's pull out our planners and like figure out so they were figuring out glamping they were gonna try to organize like a, a trip to cuba 
Like I well, think I they, hope they don't have a podcast. I mean, truly, <laughs> um, they were definitely being like making their plans for the summer. Like I could hear them, them be like one of them being like, well, the kids do get out of school that week so that we could probably make it happen. I was like, right. I love it. They were like, is this too far in advance? Like talking about things to do in September. Yeah. I was like, I love this. And then because I love a planner, I write everything down. Yeah. So then I look to my left and the woman has got it's a full sized calendar. It's a bird watching <laughs> calendar. Like it's three feet of the table. She brought a full calendar you hang on the wall. Good for her. To do it. And I was like, uh, you know, uh, everyone, kudos. Yeah, everyone's got the way that they plan. I loved it. I was like, that is next level planner. It, wow. it just felt very much like, what's the phone that's for old people. That jitterbug. Only, it felt like the jitterbug version of a planner. Yeah, of like it's a just Google a, Cal. It's just a full <laughs> yeah. desk. Like, remember those um, printed calendars for your desk that mm-hmm. it, it looked like huge pieces of paper? Yeah, My mom to, always had one. I used to have one. I tried it for like a second. Did it help? No, not at all. Because you could fit so much stuff on there. You could fit it, but then three months go by and you walk into the office that it's sitting at. And, and then like, you sadly have to peel off yeah. those three months. <laughs> yeah, and it's absolutely no help at all whatsoever. Ugh. But to each their own. Lord have mercy. Well, when you guys are hearing this, mm-hmm. I hope you have a great Valentine's Day. We sent out yes. uh, post V-Day packages mm-hmm. for our perv tier of Patreon. You guys should be getting those soon. Yeah, so go over to our Patreon if you haven't already to check it all out. Also, speaking of marking your calendars. Oh, shit. That's right. Yeah, we're doing a live show. Ooh, 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 ooh. Two uh, of them. Two of them. But right now, we're definitely confirmed yes. for, <laughs> for Zanies in Nashville. Nashville, Nashville, Tennessee. We're going to be there Thursday, April 16th at 9.30 p.m. as part of the Nashville Comedy Festival. Yes, I did this a couple years ago with my solo show and it was a blast. And Mm -hmm. oh my God, I got a story about that. Well, maybe save okay, it. Okay, okay, I'll save it. Okay. I'll save it. Okay, I'll save it for <laughs> save stage. Save it for the live show. Um, but yeah, we're so excited. So tickets are up for that. Yes. Uh, come out, see us. We're going to do like a full live recording. Check we our fucking Twitter love Nashville. or something. There'll be tickets. Yep, exactly. And also just go to Patreon. We started yep. putting up a unique video every single week, uh, interacting with you guys in your mm-hmm. community posts and all other types of stream of consciousness things we got going on there. Yeah, all the things that... Um, um, aren't worthy enough to be talked about on the main podcast go get right. thrown up there like a weird fucked up Pinterest board exactly but we're really excited to go to Nashville we got to plan some fun things there yeah that's gonna it's gonna happen sooner than we think <sighs> what fun what fun I think this got weird mm-hmm. this might get weird <laughs>